what you're doing. Because if you're a virgin traveller or virgin customer, then you need to see this. They have completely changed their class system and we've got the knowledge to make sure that you make the right choice. So don't pay too much or don't miss out. So if you're confused, don't worry because it will all be explained as we're going to take an in-depth, closer look at the brand new class systems of Virgin. Let's go! sponsoring this video so expect me to be properly ripping it apart but before I do make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification for all your great travel videos so there are three new types of class system in economy you used to just get the one it was called economy it was simple it was easy it was one size fits all and no one had any issues that we never had any issues of it and not a lot of people it was just fine but that's been replaced with one of the options which is Economy Classic. So it's only logical to take a look at Economy Classic first. Economy Classic. Now this is the classic version, like the one that we all know and love, like the one size fits all. It's fine. You just get the normal basics, so if you don't want to change anything, you don't really want to look into this other extra stuff or making it cheaper or whatever, or these other options, just stick with this one. This is the normal one. So they're not they're not getting rid of it, they're just extending it. So Economy Classic, you still get your snacks, your food, your drink, your the, the charging ports for you to charge your iPads. 300 hours of in-flight entertainment, which kind of begs the question of why do I always run out of entertainment, like movies, and that like halfway through the flight. And of course your 10 kilograms of hand luggage and 23 kilograms of check-in luggage. As well as you still get that advanced seating selection. Which moves me on to option number two, Economy Light. So think of the old classic one, but a few things stripped away to make it slightly a little bit cheaper. So you still got your snacks, food, drink, all the like in-flighty stuff. However, you only get your 10 kilograms of hand luggage. You don't get any kind of check-in luggage, so no suitcases or anything like that. And you don't get advanced seat selection either. You just rock up on the day with your hand luggage and all your clothes that you're going to wear for the week without any suitcases or anything like that. And you effectively just get what's left. Uh, I'm ready for my flight to work this new world. Yes, sir. We just need your passport. <laughs> passport? It's here. It's here somewhere. I've got... Oh, three weeks later on, it's not working! And finally, Economy Delight. You get premium check-in, priority boarding, extra leg room. So that means you get first dibs on those overhead lockers. Okay, so let's just break this down for a second. They're saying you get through the airport quicker. You're not going to get to your hotel any quicker, people. It just means you get less time in duty free and more time on the plane, like sitting down cramped. Even with that tiny little bit more leg room, you're still going to be cramped. You're still on a canister of people's farts. It's still annoying. If it was me, I would just be like, why aren't these people hurrying up? I want to leave already. <laughs> so it's just that that is the first issue with it. And secondly, they're saying that you get first dibs on those lockers. It's never been an issue in the past. You've never had issues. If you have had issues, then tell us in the comments below. But we've never had issues. I don't know anyone that really has. All that first dibs means is that you get on first, you get to pick your bit. But if someone comes in after you, they're going to push yours straight to the back. Or put all of their stuff in front of yours, kind of covering up. You need to wait for them to take their stuff down. Kind of meaning that you're not getting off that plane any quicker. You're going to be on that plane for the longest amount of time. The only real good thing is the extra leg room. It's the only thing that I can really think of it being good for. And the speedy boarding. Oh, don't even get me started on speedy boarding. Oh, I'm a speedy boarder. I've already got everywhere. I'm already in the plane. I'm all the way through the airport. I've got my coffee, I've got my newspaper, I've got my iPad already. And they're watching all my favourite films and TV, television programs. I've got everything. You're already there. I'm already there. I'm already at the hotel. I'm already there. I'm your, look at me with my extra leg room. That means I can do 10 minutes of Pilates. <laughs> How long have we got left of the flight? So you need to take your seat for takeoff now. 
<sighs> so those are the three new types of economy style in Virgin. What did you think though? Do you think you're just going to stick the classic? Or maybe you will try the light or delight options, but I want to know below. But before you do, remember to hit that subscribe button and ding our bell notification to be told of the next great upload. Like this video, join us on Planet Mark on Twitter at Planet Mark Vlog or Facebook.com forward slash Planet Mark Vlog or even at Instagram at Laura Goodbrand. But see you in the next one guys. Happy traveling. Woo 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 woo.